this is my man for life. I am not even telling you. I know this is my man for life. Our relationship is not made from this world. And that is why I speak with courage. I know. Yes. I actually don't know Joey that much. I did not meet him through his friends or that lifestyle he used to have. Mm. I met Joey through uh, a divine intervention when this whole saga was happening. A spirit, the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart and told me, I want you to love that man and I want you to care for him. Really? I didn't know him. Really? I didn't know him. Hello, welcome to Tuka Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, today I get to sit down with a very special guest who will talk to us about the importance of supporting your spouse for better, for worse. So without further ado, please allow me to let her introduce herself. Mami, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Please introduce yourself. Um, my name is Elena Musangi Ndambo, um, wife to Joey Irungu. Mother to Chanel Nikita, mm -hmm. God has blessed us with one child. Yeah. Uh, I describe myself best as a servant of God because when I met the Lord, I decided to serve him fully. Mm -hmm. And that's what he asked of me. Uh, Jesus said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. And I had this calling and I accepted it with one heart. Mm -hmm. And that's how you are able to see Joey today and me yes. because God allowed me to serve him yeah. and I will continue to serve him until my very last day. Yeah. Oh, amazing, amazing. And Thank I know you said you have one a child together. Yeah. Is this the child we saw on the video? Yeah, that's <laughs> Chanel and uh, she's our daughter. She's mm. so inspirational. Chanel will lift up your spirit. And uh, she's one person that has really held my hand even at the darkest of times like her wisdom is beyond her age mm. everyone that meets chanel says this child is truly different mm -hmm. she's distinct from all other children that you get and i give god the glory because even for myself i usually say i never take credit for who she is um i went through a lot of difficulties when i got chanel and so i told god this is your child i don't want to raise her as my own and I don't even want the dad to raise her as his own. Mm -hmm. This is your daughter, Lord. Guide us on how to raise her as your child. Yeah. And I think that's also one thing parents forget. God gives us children and we call them ours, mm -hmm. which we are. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, we forget we are only custodians. So I ask God, you raise your daughter the way you want. The school that she'll go to, yeah. what she'll eat, what she'll wear, how, who she associates with. You know, even from a young age, I've been praying to her that God will fill her with the Holy Spirit to even know her at a young age. Because mm -hmm. we never know. Life tomorrow is not promised and we don't know the, how long mm -hmm. she'll be with us. And mm -hmm. we are grateful for the time that she's been with us. But any time, God can call her. But I'm glad that even if she did, she has served our purpose already, even at a young age. I, mean, I give God all the glory. Wow, amazing, amazing. To see her and her dad in the same video, how did how did that feel like? She was so overjoyed. At first, she didn't want to do it. Uh, she's not comfortable with crowds she's not familiar mm -hmm. with. But anything that comes to do with her daddy, she does not think twice. Yeah. And it was a chemistry, instant chemistry, when we got there mm -hmm. and how everything worked out mm -hmm. it was an instant chemistry and i give god all the glory she was very proud yeah that she pre presented daddy like that to it, the whole world uh -huh. and above all she was saying we did this for god hey. yeah Amen. even in our family that's our slogan everything mm. we do we do it for god mm -hmm. we always tell her we love you but god loves you more yeah that's our slogan in the house so um, she was very proud that mm -hmm. we did it for daddy and we did it for god mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Where did this strong faith and belief in God come from, especially for you? Um, there was a time I was raising very high in my career. I'm a professional model and uh, God had to break me to be able to see myself, to be able to see the world and to be able to understand his purpose for my life. And actually it was from that point that when I met Joey, I was able to take him and to cover him without having to see that other side that everyone was seeing. 
Because God asked me, I nurtured you, I built you, I made you strong. I picked you up when you are a nobody. Mm. I want you to do the same for him. And don't be afraid for I am with you. And this is the word that the Holy Spirit spoke to me when I was praying for him, even when I was inside. He said, man can sin against another man and God will intervene for them. But if a man sins against God, no one can intervene for them. That is the word that the Holy Spirit kept urging me to pray. And I was, I was more than overjoyed when, mm. the, when my prayer was answered and he came out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the question I know my audience must be asking right now is, when did you meet Joy? And what kind of a guy was he back then? Um, I actually don't know Joy that much. I did not meet him due to his friends or that lifestyle he used to have. Mm. I met Joey through uh, a divine intervention. When this whole saga was happening, a spirit, the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart and told me, I want you to love that man and I want you to care for him. Really? I didn't know him. Really? I didn't know him. So the rumors that he was married to you before he was engaged to no, Jackie no, 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 is no. a lie. Ja he's always been faithful all through his relationships. He's always been faithful and he's very honest and transparent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when he met you, he was not entangled to anyone mm -hmm. and he was a single man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This intervention that you are talking about, like, did you ever? Because there were so many things. Yeah, of course. Going on. I thought something is wrong with me. Yeah, it me? must be the devil. Like. You know, I because at this time everyone was running away and uh, the world was describing him as mm. the possibly worst human being that you could ever see. And then now God steps in and he fills me with so much love and care. And that's how it happened. And God nurtured me through prayer and encouraging me that, you know, it's me that builds. It, it's me that takes care of. I will, I will nurture him and I want you to be there for him. I was there for you. I made you strong so that you can stand and be stronger for someone else. And that's what happened. I started praying for him. I let my family know about him. Really? Yeah. Were your parents oh. not like, this person is crazy? No. They accepted me with an open heart and we kept praying mm. to the point uh, we went to church. I was praying for him all throughout till God delivered him and he was able to come out. So who approached who? We both approached each other. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So it was, it was love? It was love. Mm -hmm. Our love is built by God. He's the foundation of our love. Mm -hmm. And whatever we do, we do it for his glory, mm -hmm. as he said. Yeah. yeah. So are you pregnant with your kid when he was in prison? Um, I will not want to comment much on that, mm -hmm. but uh, that is his daughter. That is it. Huh? Yeah. Okay, talk to me about this hard life that he's going through. Mm -hmm. This is the person you love, and this is the person you've been shown. This is the guy for me, and he's going through that much. How was that like for you? Honestly, it, just, uh, it broke my heart. But then again, as I told you, uh, we fight our battles differently from, from, uh, from how, where I come from. We fight our battles through prayers on our knees. And so God reminded me that I'm the counselor of all counselors. I'm the therapist of all therapists. I'm the prince of peace. And whenever I pray for him and we pray in the house, we always pray for the perfect peace of God, which is beyond human understanding, to heal him, to overcome any trauma or any depression that he may have or that he may be going through. Mm. And we have surely seen the hand of God in his life and in our lives. Amina, yeah. Amina, how is he like now? To be honest, when he says he has peace, he's not just saying this to please the audience or for somebody to feel he's not guilty. He truly has peace. We truly have contentment. Mm. God has taken care of us and, uh, and I give him the glory we are doing good and I'm grateful. Are you, are you not scared that he might go back to prison and you might not see him or get to raise your child together? Sometimes I do get scared. But then I remember who is on my side. Where do I come from? I remember that this is, this is beyond me. We have God fighting our battles. And every time I tend to ask that question, uh, there's a story in the Bible about King Jehoshaphat. 
and he was surrounded by the armies and God told him, stand still, I will fight this for you. And that's, that's exactly what God did. He sent an angel at night to finish off the armies. And so when they were going to either war, they found that their enemies were already dead. And so whenever I tend to think about that, God reminds me, be still, this battle belongs to me. Be still. Wow. Yeah, be ah. still. Be still. still. Yeah, this battle belongs to me. So be you don't still. feel like this is no. a burden I should not no. be carrying? No, no, not once, not once. Ever since the Holy Spirit bad thing in my spirit till now, there is not once I'm ever stressed is going to go back in or that might, that or this might happen or not. So you are telling me yeah. you believe this is your man for life? This is my man for life. I am not even telling you. I know this is my man for life. Our relationship is not made from this world. And that is why I speak with courage. I know. Yes. Yeah. Talk to me about his new song, Nishikili. What does it mean to you guys? <laughs> simply a testimony, a summary of a testimony of what the Lord has done to him and what the Lord has done to us. Simply, Mungu alitu shikilia. And exactly as the word says that God will hide you under his wings, that you'll be safe from all your enemies. That's exactly what the Lord does. Me, when I wake up, I pray and I cover my family, my finances, my relationships, my interactions, you know, my lifestyle. I always say, there is not one thing that the Lord is not concerned with about us. And I always cover that under Psalms 91, which says that God will keep us safe from all Indian dangers and from all the deadly diseases. Mm. And he will send his holy angels to go before you. Even if you trip, you will not be hurt. So when I wake up, and even as we continue to live, I'm always confident because I know he's got my back. Mm -hmm. God, like me, God broke him to know that you cannot trust men. And by men, generally men and women. Yes. God also broke me and taught me the same. That is why, that's why we have so much courage when you see us out there, because we know who is truly on our side. And when you know who is on your side, Nothing you never have to look, yeah, exactly. you never have to look back or you know who is truly on your side. Wow. Yeah. Have you met his family? I've met his family. They love me. Uh, when I actually get there, they displace him. <laughs> yeah, you know, because he happens to be the last girl in the family. So when I showed up, now you're I the took last. over. Now I am the last one. Yeah. But now in my family, because my family, it's the same he also. They love him. Family yeah, also? he's met my family yeah. and my family has accepted him. Yeah. When he shows up to my family, he's the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you guys, you are good. Yeah, we are good. And what I, I love about our families, we are all, we all have a personal relationship with God. I actually don't encourage people to be religious or to be saved. I encourage people to have a relationship with God. And that's what matters. Because this world is full of people who are saved, but how many of us really behave like we know God, like we have a relationship with Him? That's what I encourage the most. And so our fam both our families have been raised up under the foundations of God. So it was very easy for them to accept Him and for us to be able to accept one another. Lovely. Not so many people would pick up such a man. I know. Like even asked me, you know, like the first time his parents saw me, they were like, do you really know who you with? You know, even the first time when we actually met, how we met is actually interesting. Mm -hmm. There's a friend of mine who used to be a model. Yeah. So one time after very many years, almost five, uh, we connect, uh, we exchange each other's number on, on Instagram. Then one night, he, he just happened to video call me. He said, oh, can you say hi to my friend? I went, okay. I saw his friend, he had, he had a hoodie and he covered his face. And then I don't know what happened. Then we talked, we finished. A few seconds later, I called back again. He said, ah, no, he's calling me. And then something told me, ah, just speak. So I picked. Then he said, ah, I want you to see my friend again properly. So he had removed his hood and then, oh, that's oh. Joey, are you for real? A night before, a night before, amazingly, I was telling my best friend, her name is Sheila. One day I pray, even if it's 10 years from today, that God grants me the grace to meet Joey and tell him that he's not alone in this world. There are people who believe in him and above all, he has a God who will never leave him and forsake him. So the following day, that's when I happened to meet him via video call through his friend, Ken, his name is Ken. And when I saw him, these are the words that I told him. 
I've been praying for you. And the Holy Spirit told me to pray for you with these words. A man can sin against another man and God can intervene for them. But if a man sins against God, no one can intervene for them. He couldn't believe it. So we set up a date and he came. I'm telling you, when he saw me, he was almost running. I was scared, he was scared. I didn't know, he was, he was saying, this is unbelievable. Like, I just thought, you know, we're just trying to be sweet and polite, but that's how it's been ever since we met. Wow. That's why I'm, I'm telling you, I speak with confidence because I know our relationship is not of this world. And you're not it's scared not, of criticism. I am not scared. I am not scared. And I politely say, if you are fighting me, you are fighting God. And if you are fighting God, you are only looking for your own profit. You are. There is no way you will fight God's servant and you live to tell about it. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way you will ever fight yeah. God's servant yes. and you live to tell about it. Yes. Uh, when the king of Egypt tried to pursue the children of Israel, whatever was available, simple as water, God used it to finish him. So people out there who spending their time trying to discourage us from the ministry that God has given us, I am politely asking you, stop digging your own coffins and digging your own funerals. Mm. God fights for his children and not just his children. When you're a servant, there's even a different anointing. God fights for us. God fights. God wow. fights for us. If Joey is watching you right now, mm -hmm. I know he is because I could do up a new one. What what message do you have for him? Uh let's continue to serve the Lord together. As we said from the one, we will run our race and we will finish. We'll finish well till the end. Uh we chose David, uh David is always known to be a man after God's heart. And from so many, I was, I was always curious, where is this man? Where was he a man after God's heart? And the Lord revealed to me through one of the books that I read by Rick Warren, Purpose Driven Life. God said, David was a, was a man after God's heart because he served God in his generation. So for you, my love, let's continue to serve God in our generation and let's finish the good fight and the good the good race that God has given us Amen. till the end. Amina. Yes, yes, and it's so unfair for me to end this interview without asking. You said you are a professional model. Is that what you're still doing right now? Yeah, I'm a professional model uh -huh. and I'm managing him. For other businesses, yes. I've decided to put them aside yeah. so that uh, we can do God's work together because God has called us for a purpose mm. and God always pays. You know, sometimes people think there's laws when you serve God. But believe me, there, there is no loss and you will never lose. Not just spiritually, even financially. You will never lose if you choose to serve God. Never. 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 Wow. Your final words to Kenyans? Um, my final words, I would encourage everyone, even if you're not a Christian, even if you are born again, have a relationship with God. That is the only thing that you'll ever take from this world. Have a relationship with God. God is not interested in your religion. God is interested in you having a relationship with him, being sincere to him, coming to him with your weaknesses and with your strength. When Jesus called us as his children, he told us, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. It is Jesus that transforms you to be who you are. You know, we think we have to change or to become someone else for God to accept us. God says, no, come as you are. I know how I will drop the alcohol. I know how I'll drop the prostitution. I know how I'll drop the debts. I know how I'll drop. It's him. It's him that makes us fishers of men. That ah. would be my final word. Wow, thank you. I was honestly, when I sat down here, I was not expecting this mind-blowing interview. And I want to say thank you thank for you. taking your time and just sitting down here. And I look forward to sitting you, you know, just sitting down with you again and having a very candid conversation. I look forward to that too. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you so much guys for tuning in. Wow, this is unbelievable. So many things are happening. So many positive things are happening. And I'm sending a lot of love and light to everyone who watched this interview. Remember to check out Joey's song on YouTube. Don't forget to say to percent you. My name is Lynn Googie. Till next time.